Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Moonlighter. When we last left off, we had just got our feet wet. We had dipped our toes in, as it were. Do I actually want to invest more in these things, or do I want to invest more in my own shop first, I wonder? Well, given how expensive it is, probably we want to invest in other adventurers. And by never adventurers, I mean in never merchants. But anyway, yeah, we're getting our our feet wet in the whole uh, merchanty businessiness, and also, there you are. I saw you, Zenin. Boy, Renoka's seen better days. When your grandpa first opened Moonlighter, people from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now, if you insist on diving deeper into the Golem dungeon, please, Will, make sure to buy some better armor. You can bring a blacksmith to the town using the town board. Your grandpa was a great friend of mine. You take after him in so many ways. His stubbornness definitely being one of them. I love you too, Zenon. You're a good man. Only wanting what's best for us, I know. We gotta learn these things on our own. And we're gonna get to the bottom of that dungeon, I tells you. Gonna be like the, the best dungeon shopkeeper that ever existed. I mean, to be honest, that, that's where the real money is, isn't it? I mean, under this uh, BS, uh, under this BS of uh, like wandering around. Oh boy. I'm terrified I'm gonna fall into that pit. But so far, that has not happened. Also, what, what do we got here in the corner? That, oh, oh, oh. A message of some kind. The golems lurking amongst these stone walls are sturdy, but all their combat abilities are clumsy and easy to predict. Some of these guys can proper stun you if they land a hit, though. Gotcha. Is that all you gotta say? Oh, oh wait. No, no, that is in fact all he's gotta say. Alright, cool. Alright, so we probably want at least, like, a. Uh, at least 50 gold per, like, or something to that effect. Or I guess we want, like, 50 gold in profit per- Whoa, I fell down the hole. Good job. And there's our chest. What do you got for me? Alright, what is this? We got some foundry rests. Item must be placed to the left or, or right of bag. What's a foundry rest? Oh, right, right, right. These things. Cool, cool. And what is this? An ancient pot. Item must be placed to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Alright. So far, so good. Also, hang on a sec. What is this? Oh, it costs 200 in order to teleport out. Oh, right, right, right. Gotta roll over the enemy. Don't just, like, walk into his face. Oh, God, no! Get out! Get out, Gaslight! You fool. You foolish fool. Alright. That was considerably less good. But we got this. Sort of. Maybe. Possibly. I mean, we don't even have bombs, so we can't test for secret walls. But, I mean, you know in a game like this, there's gotta be... Secret walls. How do I keep falling down there? It's kind of weird to me. Like, perspective's throwing me off a little bit. Alright. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Remember, don't get hit. Or, you know, try not to get hit, rather. I mean... Not terribly hard to not get hit. Okay. Alright. Straightforward, straightforward. We even got some new stuff. That's... Ooh, what's this? Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use that yet. There we go. Perfectly balanced in every way. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. 
Oh boy. Let's uh let's drink a potion there. Okay. Ah, you should have shielded rather than dodge rolling. Okay, so that that looks like that's gotta be like the way down to down to the next level. Alright. And we know we've got like this healing spring doohickey here. So that's cool. That's cool. Alright, we won't we won't touch that just yet. Instead, let's uh, let's explore the whole floor. I mean I don't think there's any reason not. Okay, that's actually really irritating. Alright. Someday I'll learn the perspective and I'll stop falling. From the wear of their bodies, I would have to say these golems have been fighting here for centuries. Whatever power supplies them, it must be damn near infinite. Interesting. See, that's another reason why we should explore, because then we can get all this, like, lore stuff. But if you're anything like me, you like lore stuff. Alright. Dodge and roll. Mostly because I don't trust myself to use my shield effectively. Yeah. Alright. I mean, we are actually almost dead though, so that is probably... Probably something I should keep in mind. Let's, uh, quick move all, because, you know, we can. Alright. What do we got here? Ooh, it's a... shop place thing. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were just- this is probably like Pete's camp, I imagine. They were first discovered not far from Ranoka. A small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Also, oh, that's my my heart up there beating. Gotcha. A unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. Unique maze for each person. Never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. Ooh, what, what, what's going on with that little symbol down there? But no, not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what, oh god. I'm here for the how and why. What the nine hells was that? Um. Okay, and now we've got like an eyeball. I've got a bad feeling about this. Is like, is like some super boss gonna show up? Have I been here too long? What, what is this? I've got a bad feeling about this, man. Like, what is this eyeball representing? Have I been too slow? Did I miss out on something? Did I... Did I do something wrong? What's going on? These are the questions. And... You know what they say? Oh, sweet merciful baby Jesus! What is this? Can I even kill it? I... I do not appear to be able to damage it. It's like the ghost of dungeons past. Okay, that's, uh, that is interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Golem Dungeon Level 2. This is one of the strange devices that creatures dropped, or the creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so... I am just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder though, where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? Okay, so we've got a, we've got our uh, mirror now. Okay, so if we have, if we fill up on stuff, and we end up, yeah, you know what? It occurs to me. I, I bet I could use this uh, at, at least as a starting point to figure out. 
like the value of something. Like I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Whoa, boy. Like if I were to guess, and I am, then I would say, whoa. I would say that, oh boy. I would say that, oh god, my, my axe broke or something. And my, by my axe, I mean my sword. Didn't know that was something that could happen. Oh god. Uh, that's probably a good time to say that I should get out of here. Like, I'm barely, barely able to damage this thing. Curious. I didn't know my sword could break. That's actually terrifying. But, you know, you learn something new every day, and that's good. All right. I mean, we should probably pendant our way out of here shortly, like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I'm looking at, um, like, how much damage we're doing. My gut says we should probably consider, like, just getting out of here. I mean, we actually, we don't actually even have to fight all the enemies. This isn't, like... Say, uh, I don't know, like, Binding of Isaac or certain other games where, like, you have to kill every enemy before you can move on to the next room. We can, in fact, leave at any time we so desire. Which is, you know, it's good. It's good to know. Oh, boy. All right, another shop. Some more lore. So, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves. I did what any sensible person would do in this situation, and smacked it right back. It shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart. A core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very peculiar or particular environment. A culture all its own. Interesting. Very interesting. And I am- oh, and I lose everything when- Oh, okay. Oh, I lose everything that's not on my person. See, that- that's- that's just something that's useful to know. Though, my sword being broken... I didn't realize that my sword could break. Oh god. I mean, that's useful to know. Get, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And... I mean, I guess that's also a good... Like, it's a good indication that we should probably consider, uh, you know, just getting out of here. In a, a timely timely fashion. Or at least, you know, consider it. I can see now why Will was choosing to use this broom in the first place, because it's the only weapon that won't break. Man. Some, uh, garbage there that it breaks in the first place. I mean, realistically, I mean, you know, weapons do take damage. So, you know, it's... Not terribly super- Ooh, is this one of those heart things that I was told about? Ah, an empowering crystal. That's gotta be worth some money. Alright, I mean, if we wanna- if we wanna open the, uh, the chest... If we wanna open the chest, then we've gotta kill all the enemies. And we probably wanna open the chest, if I were to guess. Beautifully done. Or, you know, so says I, anyway. Alright. I mean, I, I guess... We're gonna... We're probably... Wait. Did I miss out on the chance to get that chest because I took too long and it sunk into the slime? I guess so. Gotta be honest. The falling into pits, seemingly randomly... Is starting to get on my nerves. Just a tad. 
but such is the life. And I guess, uh, you know, we've got to, you know, get good. Which we will, no doubt. Probably, maybe. Could happen. Someday. Just got to keep working on it. I mean, it won't be that bad. Probably. I mean, it, it seems to me... What do we got here? Why? Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've seen this. Tools. So something's stealing their tools. Oh, boy. All right. It's gonna take 10,000 years to kill all these things. At least we've got a decent range. Yeah, I mean, this thing can barely even reach me on account of our awesome, our awesome range. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just take everything, because why not? Alright, friendo. And this is actually like a higher level- yeah, look at this. I mean, honestly, I'm almost saying I- I'm almost thinking I prefer... Our, uh, I almost prefer this thing. This, uh, broom, just because of its range. Which tells me that if we get the opportunity to get like a halberd or a similar type weapon, we should totally take it. Yeah, give ourselves maximum room. Nicely done there, Gaslight. Nicely done. Oh boy. Yeah, watch out for that. Okay, wait for it to start doing that. Then it does that. Then it does that. And then we get that. Any, uh, loot? No loot. Okay. That's good. Well, good to know. As the case happens to be here. And then we'll- we'll save healing ourselves up for once, uh, once we've explored the whole dungeon. It feels like the right, uh... The right play to me, anyway. It might not be, though. Because there is a- a not- unreasonable chance that we may end up, you know, dying due to our low health. But I mean, health potions are expensive and they don't grow on trees, so I don't want to... Whoa, boy. Oh, crap. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. We're just going to- we're going to ignore the rest of that. I mean, it has like a skull and everything on it, indicating it's clearly some kind of death trap room. Then again, a death trap room probably has useful, uh, stuff in it. You know what, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll give it a shot at, you know, winning, and then we'll use our pendant to get out. You know, assuming we can. Gotta try our best. And yeah, just keep pushing these things back. We got it. We got this. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a simple matter... ...of killing one... ...than the other. Probably this one first, though. Ow. Okay, then yeah. Oh, sweet, merciful baby Jesus. Wait, is that thing killing everything in the dungeon? I think the answer to that question is yes. Let's see, they're like moths. Like moths to the flame, I tell ya. These adventurers. So many attracted to the dungeons. So many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out. Eventually. It's a messy ordeal. No one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon with only small traces of slime nearby and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, many looking for that big payday. 
There really is so much more to these dungeons, though. Let's, uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? We're, we're not going to be able to beat that. So my thought process is, let's go to the spring, we'll heal up, because the impression I'm getting is that we'll keep any injuries we've already sustained. So we want to we wanna heal ourselves to max, if if we can, which apparently we can't, because the uh, we've like got as much healing as we're going to get. Alright, so we'll pull out for now. There we go. That wasn't terrible, but we, we definitely... We need better weapons here. Alright, let's, uh... Oh no, we actually are at full health when we leave. Alright. You know what, let's open our shop. Let's do a little bit of, uh... Oh, I guess we have to sleep first, because it is nighttime. Alright. We'll sleep until the morning, and then we shall continue. Alright. All right, let's open up the old shop a majig and make sure that we have ourselves a little bit of profit. Or at least, you know, as much as we can reasonably expect. All right. Let's see. Oh, she likes the price, so I said... Oh, it looks like iron is... I'm underselling it. Oh. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. All right, so I'm still overselling the iron. Uh, this was a hundred is perfect, so plop those in at a hundred apiece. Um, this is still too much, is it? Yeah, ten is too much for vines. Okay, we'll uh, lower it to five. See if that uh, tickles their fancy a little bit. And iron. I mean, yeah, ten is actually too little. All right, let's uh, we'll bump it up to fifteen then. Or, you know, let, let's say 20. Because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling lucky here. And Keepstone. Let's see, what does the description say? Very sharp stones commonly found on the bodies of ancient golems. Let's, uh, let's put that at 25 to start with. Get a, get a feel for things. Oh! Alright. Alright, well, we're making some money. That's good. I like I like money. We talk to our customers. We cannot. They're just kind of like there. All right. So you you don't like the cost of uh, vines. Five is too much for a vine, huh? It's got to be like something like really ridiculous, like two or one. Uh, what what, what were sticks selling for? We don't even know what sticks are selling for. Or roots. We'll start them off at five. We'll we'll get a we'll we'll figure this out piece by piece. All right. Okay, so two is enough for the vines. Gotcha. All right. So if we look at the teeth stone, twenty-five is too much. Okay, so they are. All right, let's let's dump it down to ten. I like you know nice even, clean numbers here. All right, two for that. Um, empowering crystal. And t okay, so ten is a little cheap for these, so we'll bump it up to twenty. All right. Excellent, excellent. Alright, Teepstone still selling it for too much. Alright, so 10 is too much for Teepstone. Let's, uh, let's have it. Oh, I guess while I'm at it, let's, uh... Yeah, get our... get some stuff in here. Alright, Empowering Crystals. Let's start at, uh... At 50. Because 50 seems reasonable. Cha-ching, cha-ching. 
All right, I mean, we've made a nice, a nice profit so far. Let's, uh... Let's see, we'll, we'll sell a little bit more and then we'll, we'll wrap things up. We're learning. Okay, so I actually sold the crystal for too little. All right. So, 50 is too cheap for empowering crystal. Okay, gotcha. Let's, uh, let's bump it up to 75. A little bit of this for that, and I guess we'll sell this as well. All right, let's let's start this at 50 as well. Or, you know, let's say 75. It it looks like it's a higher quality item. Excellent, excellent. All right. Now we'll sell some more stuff. I do like money. Excellent. Okay, what what was that that I just... Oh, I'm still selling the crystals for too cheap. Oh my. Oh, what was that? He didn't like, uh, didn't like the price I had for the whetstone. Ten is... Okay, so ten is too much, but twenty is... Or ten is too little, twenty is too much. Gotcha. All right. I'm trying to think, maybe I should be sell it like some of these things: milky white sphere, or some unknown material containing water, emitting a strange, almost eerie light. All right. And okay, and I'm even selling that for too little. But you know, this is how we learn. All right, looks like that's the end of the day, since I noticed the uh, cycling thing is not cycling anymore. All right, so that, that, yeah, that's it. All right. Okay. We made a pretty penny there, so we can up invest in some stuff, like a blacksmith. But I think that's where we're going to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.